I'm standing here in Vienna with our colleague Franz Kaiser. Hi Franz. Hi Kathy. So behind us you can see parts of the physical rail infrastructure because we are here in one of our test centers where we perform tests before we send out our products or solutions to our customers. So Franz, Gaia talked a lot about of digitalization and centralization, but to be honest, I cannot quite imagine it because how is a level crossing or a signal supposed to be digital? So, and yet it seems to be the next big deal. So yes, let's have a look at it okay. together. Yeah. So, Kati, here you can see such a signaling system. You see trains, points and signals mm -hmm. and all the physical elements of a rail displayed here digitally on these monitors. Okay, cool. And what about yeah. you? And these elements are controlled by this thing called interlocking. Mm -hmm. This interlocking consists of computers and servers and is located every 12 kilometers along the line. That means a lot of cables, a lot of hardware and a lot of buildings. Okay, but uh, every 12 kilometer an interlocking, that does not seem to be very centralized, does it? That's right. Uh, but in the future, we will have some elements and the rest of the interlocking will be in uh, a DS3 data center. And we will operate the interlocking cloud ready. And uh, at the end, we have only one interlocking in the data center. And the big uh, <coughs> development consists of this separation of the software from the hardware. Okay, maybe you can show it to me? I can show it to you. Okay, we'll this way? Change in the next room, okay. this way. So, Kati, here you can see our DS3 system. Okay, I see. I see less cables, but does this also mean less maintenance, less downtime, or what are the customer benefits? Maintenance is a big advantage, of course. Many interlockings need uh, many maintenance. Here we have in the future only one big data center. And the utilizations of the lines will be higher, also the punctuality for the customers. That means uh, for the operators and uh, for the customers a lot of advantages. Okay, so thinking of the passengers, I think in safety is an important thing. So what about the safety here? Of course. Uh, this DS3 system uh, meets also the requirements for SIL4. SIL4 okay. is the highest level for mm -hmm. the uh, rail operation. Okay, so as far as I know, you already put the first digital interlocking into operation with an Austrian customer by using for the first time standard hardware with a multi-core processor. So. Yes, that's right, and all went well smoothly. That means uh, it is of course an pilot project, we prepared it for years and we went live in November last, last year and uh, it works as it should work. Okay, cool. So I'm always happy to hear that the customer is happy. So I would say thank you. It was a very nice day and I really had fun. So thank you.